Water gradient technology is a unique technology in the contact lens field. It was developed to achieve a very high surface water content in a jade-like structure. The concept was to achieve low surface modulus, low friction and high lubricity. This was clearly demonstrated in vitro during the development of the technology. The key question was then, do these in vitro properties translate into clinical benefits? If we look at the clinical performance, the first to consider is on eye wettability. Thus, a surface with a high water content achieves better on eye wettability. A plethora of studies have compared the wettability of water gradient contact lenses to an extensive range of contact lenses with conventional surface technology. These studies, ranging from initial wear, when the lens first gone to the eye, to the end of day, up to 16 hours of wear, have demonstrated for diverse tear film parameters superior weighting for water gradient contact lenses. What I would like to highlight in terms of specific on eye surface property is a propensity for the water gradient lens to hold water better after the break than other surfaces. Lawrence and his colleague confirm, compared to Oma Filcone contact lenses, what our group had demonstrated compared with Senofilcone. That is, the area exposed just before the natural blink is between a half and a third of the break observed with conventional surfaces. This characteristic is critical as rheology principle indicate that this will translate into lesser friction during the blink. When we consider low friction, the second aspect of clinical performance relate to ocular tissue interaction and tolerance. A number of studies, including studies in low humidity environment and after a full day wear, have shown very low overall tissue staining with water gradient technology. Also, in a number of such studies, less redness associated with less induced inflammation was reported at the end of the day compared to conventional surfaces. Finally, does better on eye wettability and better acceptance by the ocular tissues translate into patient benefit of greater and longer lasting comfort? An early large multi-site study demonstrated a very high level of overall comfort for water gradient technology and follow-up studies comparing comfort to the comfort achieved with conventional contact lenses reported superior comfort for water gradient. But the one study I would like to highlight does not relate to other contact lenses and is in fact the ultimate challenge. Michaud and his colleague took a group of neophyte contact lens wearers, fitted them with water gradient technology, after two weeks of wear, the group reported in 59% of cases, therefore in a majority of cases, a greater comfort than they had experienced with their own glasses in the absence of contact lenses. So, based on those findings and considering the question, do the unique in vitro properties of water gradient technology lead to clinical benefits? we can conclude that the technology achieved unique on-eye performance under daily disposable wearing modality. And we can also forecast that the high resistance to dehydration will be beneficial in preventing lens foliation under plan replacement modality.